Hey, welcome back. My name is Tim Buell. This is Finale for Drummers, a series where we're breaking down different things that drummers will encounter when working in Finale. And today we're talking about five tips to speed up your workflow when you're working in Finale. First tip might be obvious to some, but it is to set up a template that you can use when you work in Finale. Finale comes with a ton of amazing templates, but all of us are going to have slightly different things that we want to add to Finale to make it our own. And in that case, you wanna start building your own template to speed up your workflow. Some of the things that I like changing in a template are fonts, putting any copyright info in the footer of the document, adding a notation legend at the beginning that's specific to how I notate drums, tempo markings, how page numbers are displayed. Everything is a little tweaked, a little customized, a little optimized for exactly how I like it. And that means that when people see drum transcriptions that I put out into the world, it looks like me. Tip number two for speeding up your workflow in Finale is using keyboard shortcuts. Again, this probably seems very obvious to a lot of people, but you would be surprised at how many different things you can have a keyboard shortcut for in Finale. And if you are someone who, when you're working in Finale, is constantly dragging your mouse around and then clicking and then dragging it to this other place and whatever, if you're not using keyboard shortcuts, you're wasting a lot of time pointing and clicking when you could be just zipping through stuff. So some of my favorite shortcuts that I use are in simple entry, which is how I enter notation, the numbers one through eight to change the note value, Alt R to make a rest, Control 9 to toggle the tuplet tool, and T for tie tool. A huge way that you can speed up your workflow is actually using the selection tool. So if you double tap the escape key, Finale will automatically select your selection tool. And this is a really quick way that you can move things around, copy and paste things from one measure to another. Percussionists also might have to shift between layers, which you can do using Alt, Shift, and then the numbers one through four. When you're in the text tool, you can actually hold Shift, Control, and then hit the less than or greater than sign, and that will increase and decrease the size of your text. When you're in the art articulation tool, you can actually hold down certain letters and double click a note and it will place that articulation without you opening the dialog box. So if you wanna place an accent above a note, you can select the articulation tool, hover over the note, hold the letter A, double click the note and it will add an articulation right above it. Similarly, when you're in the staff tool, you can actually highlight a measure and certain keys will apply certain staff styles when you press them. For instance, if you highlight a measure and you hit the letter H, it will actually hide that measure, which is really useful if you're building things like sheets of exercises and you need to have a certain layout, you can hide measures and really do it simply by just hitting H when you're in the staff tool. Anything that you're clicking a bunch or pressing a bunch, make sure to look through the keyboard shortcuts and see if there's a way that you could actually save a ton of time by simplifying all the steps you're doing into one or two keyboard shortcuts. Tip number three for faster workflow in Finale is my favorite on the list, and it is getting something like a macro keyboard. So what a macro keyboard is, is it is a keyboard that partners with some software and you can program the keys on this special keyboard to, in one press of a button, do several different keystrokes. So using a macro keyboard is kind of like keyboard shortcuts times a billion. The macro keyboard I use is called the Stream Deck. It's the 15 key version and you can buy one for around $120. So to give you an example of just how beneficial getting a macro keyboard can be, I want to talk about sex tuplets and how to make them in Finale. So in Finale, if you want to make a sex tuplet, what I have to do is I have to flip over to speedy entry, I have to click in the measure, I have to hit control, and then six, and then I have to hit the number three six times, and then I have to switch out of that and switch back to simple entry, and that is a lot. It's something like 10 different actions I have to take to make a sex tuplet. So I've programmed in my stream deck a way to, once I switch over to speedy entry, click the measure, hit one button, and it will make that sex tuplet instead of me having to do eight or 10 actions, it's just me pressing one button. I have several macros I've created on the Stream Deck that take tasks that maybe take three to 10 different actions and it reduces them down to one. I can just hit one simple button and it does the rest of the work for me. Now, tip number four for speeding up your workflow in Finale actually has to do with tuplets, which we were just talking about in the last tip. There are times at the very end of a measure where sometimes I have a group of eighth note triplets that on beat four, I want to change the eighth note triplets to an eighth note triplet, two sixteenth note triplets, and then an eighth note triplet. And for some reason, Finale has a really hard time doing different tuplet things at the very end of a measure. And it took me a really 
really long time to figure out how to work around this. What I've found is if I have something with triplets on the very end of a measure, what I'll do is I'll actually go to the next measure that's empty. I will build whatever that tuplet that's gonna be on beat four is, I will build that in the new measure. Finale's totally happy with it. It doesn't have the same problems. And what I'll do is then I'll hit escape twice, bring up my selection tool, drag it over to beat four. And for whatever reason, Finale doesn't have a problem with that and it looks great and it looks exactly like I want. So our last tip, tip number five for speeding up your workflow in Finale is getting a some kind of transcription program. And the one that I use is called Transcribe. When you're charting a song or you're transcribing a drum part, the thing that burns maybe the most time for people that they might not even realize is when you're, you know, you're in finale and you're doing your notation and working things out and trying to figure out what the drummer's doing, that's all great. But when you're playing that song back, whatever you're using to play that song back, if every time you're trying to listen to a specific measure, you're having to hop over to that program, play it, pause it, go over to Finale, do whatever you're doing in Finale, go back to whatever audio program you're using to play the song, scrub through the song and find the same place that you're looking for, hit play, pause it, go back over to Finale. That's a lot of wasted time queuing up, scrubbing through the song, trying to find what you're transcribing. There's a program that I like to use called Transcribe that makes it much, much easier because Transcribe gives you the ability to loop a certain section, a measure of a song. It will play that loop over and over and over again until you stop it. And what that does is it allows you to select exactly where in a song that you want, that you're focused on. And when I'm transcribing, I highlight a measure at a time. I'll have it play that over and over and over again infinitely until I'm in, in finale, I get it done and I get it where I'm happy. And then I'll go back over to transcribe, simply slide the loop section over a measure. And now I'm highlighted on that measure. It's playing over and over and over again infinitely. And I can go back to finale, figure what, out what's going on, go back to transcribe. And I'm not wasting any time playing, pausing, having to scrub through the song and find what I'm currently trying to transcribe. It's all done for me. And the other benefit of transcribe is it can instantly slow down audio to any speed that you want without changing the pitch. So when I'm transcribing some of these crazy drum solos with 30 second note solos all around the drum kit, I have to slow that down to figure out precisely exactly what that drummer is doing. And transcribe gives me the ability to do that really easily by just clicking a button, it slows it down, it's looped on that, I can listen to it as long as I need to figure out what's going on, and then I can simply slide the selection over to the next measure, I can speed it back up if I need to, I can slow it down further if I want, but it really does save a ton of time. And even if you're just learning a basic song, if you're trying to figure out the groove and the verse so you can put it down in your finale chart, you can waste a lot of time just kind of queuing up the section you want. Transcribe has been really the only thing I've found that just kind of takes away all that work and saves me a ton of time. So those are the five tips that I think can really speed up your workflow when working in finale as a drummer. But is there there a drum notation topic that you'd like to see a lesson on in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Any topic you all put down there is potentially something we can cover in this series, Finale for a Drummer. So leave those comments below. And right before I end this video, I wanna tell you about the sale that Finale just kicked off, which is their summer sale, which is from right now through September 4th, 2022. This is the biggest discount of Finale version 27 that I've ever seen. So if you've been thinking about buying Finale or if you've been thinking about upgrading, now is definitely the time to do it. Right now, you can buy the full version of Finale version 27 for $299. That's 50% off. It's usually 600 bucks. That's an insane deal. As well, you can get an academic license or an upgrade license for just $99, which again is insane. To take advantage of these sales, use the promo code Finale Summer at checkout. You can find links for this sale in the description below, as well as more details and all that stuff. So thanks so much for watching. Take advantage of the summer sale, and we'll see you in the next one.